of the LS's transmission. It's an S80 coming out of a 97 Acura Integra. So what you're gonna need is a half drive ratchet, 14 mil, screwdriver, preferably flathead, needle nose pliers, 12 mil, 10 mil, and a magnet. All right, so let's get started. First, we're taking out a plug right here, top of the transmission. What this is doing is there is the actual one of the shafts. There's a snap ring in there. Right there, what's going to happen is we're going to pry that snap ring up. That shaft's going to drop. Then we're going to start to remove all those 12 mil bolts that hold the casing together. Shortly after, remove the two bolts with detent springs and little balls in there that actually engage and hold the shift forks in place. And this actually holds the reverse. So, first thing we do, get those needle nose pliers, separate that snap ring or C clip, whatever you want to call it. Shaft the drop. Then you get the 12 mil. It's off. That clip is opened up. Reverse. Idler gear bolt. The 14 mil should be the only one that you gotta pull off. And these two detent rings and retainer bolts. So, take this first one out, there's a spring in there. Second one, and behind those, there is two little balls that actually hold the forks in place. And what I like to do, get a magnet now. Pour anything, stick it in there. Yeah, roll back with it. Comes off nice and easy. And then what I do is I just keep those together with the magnet. Now, start prying off this case. Really shouldn't take much effort. That's how you open a transmission, 3-series transmission. We'll be going to the internal teardown. Lots of times this bearing will actually get stuck in the housing right there. You just tap it out, come off, make sure the words are going to be facing up if you can put this back together. So, the way I start and take off the reverse gear selector. These two 10 mil bolts right here. Slide it forward, take this out, put it off to the side. Here's the reverse idle gear. It can only go one way. I mean, if you flip it upside down, it's not going to work. It's going to get hit with that little cover. And this little pin right here actually only slides in one spot.
So this right here, reverse side of the gear has that slot. That only fits in one way. The actual shift selector, it's gonna be three bolts. One, two, and three. Black one, golden always goes in that corner. Another black one. Break them loose. If you have an impact, you can do that. Just wanna make sure you're going easy on it. You don't wanna wrench down on these. It is an aluminum cast transmission. So, you don't wanna go crazy. I have to try and keep all these bolts in there. Little time. Easiest way to do that is lift up these forks. Oh. Pops right out. Make sure you put these bolts back where they go. Pop this side by first idler. It's a selector. Now this is what you actually need the rags for. To remove this, here is your main shaft or output shaft. Here's your counter shaft. I'm sorry, I have it backwards. Main shaft, input shaft, counter shaft, output shaft. Okay, spun by the engine, spun by the differential. So, what I like to do is grab some rags. You actually grab three shifts forks and the gears. So, wrap some rags around it just to hold it together easier. Pick it all up. Lay it down. Take one shift selector out, shift fork two, three shift forks. 